So hello everyone and Monday here, welcome to my live reaction and like review of My Hero Academia 757 And I'm really excited to see what her power is, like Ares there last week, I was like She split them apart uh, Right, she's uh, on the sky out of um, Shizaki And that makes sense, even if she has like time power or like you know, reverse depowering and so on Because either of those powers would do the same thing, like if you can remove his power right, they would also like get the body on him away if she can, he's talking about like rewinding time and so on. If she can do that, that would also do that effect. So I was like, it's kind of confusing. So I want to know exactly what that is. And I'm guessing if she has, of course, like time rewinding, like with him in Bleach, she'd be able to just rewind, right? That uh, Togat lost his power immediately, so he could get power back because that would make sense. And I think she would be able to heal him also with other things as well. So anyway, yeah, I think I think generally Eri is going to help him right, to get power back. I think this is, this is the natural thing. Let's read it and see what happens. I was very excited to see her jumping course to be saved by Deku. Yeah, the seed sown by Mirio Togata had finally sprouted, granting Eri the determination to be saved. Yeah, because earlier she was afraid of being saved all the time. We also could find out last week that she is um, his niece, right? So I guess, yeah, because I guess he kind of raised her somewhat anyway, because his sister, does his whatever, yeah, she left, she left her because he apparently accidentally killed him. Her father, right, with the power probably. So, um, yeah, her mom just left her at his dad's place, which is, of course, the Akusa place, and then he had to raise her. Um, one thing that I did like last week was that um, she vanished people, apparently, but they had, had it tested with rats, but then the rat didn't vanish because it's like a blood sp sp splatter, so then she exploded the rats, so that was very inconsistent, and I'm guessing that is a manga issue, that produced an, an error in the manga. If the rat would vanish, it would just be. <laughs> not blood right so I was like what anyway yeah Deku said it's time I'm letting you go oh what is this super ooh what is this Sue image <laughs> I was like what is this what is this Sue image I was like oh go back a bit what's this panel of Sue yeah and of course it's super. yeah and also we should also remember of course that the other guys are also like oh, we have to go and get this girl she's the weapon um the other evil people the League of Heroes I can move well in mid air. Why can he move well? Why can he move well? <laughs> what can I hear? Do you want to be always win and saves everyone? Yeah. Okay, and he can. Like his powers is a little. How is he doing this? His powers are a little too much like a DX machine. He's the... he get the power he needs, right? Because now he jumps from the clip he created. And then shoots out four or five like spider talents out of it, right? And it's like, how does he do that? Because doesn't have to touch it to like create, doesn't have to like grab it, like send it out or something. And now it's like, he's jumping, he's mid air, and it, behind him, he's creating those things. That makes that image makes no sense to me. It makes no sense the image here. Like, it makes literally no the power here. She doesn't work like that. <laughs> like, yeah, because he's not standing on the ground anymore, right? Or if he's standing on the ground, that's very unclear because it's, it's like he's jumping and he has those five uh, spider kind of uh, you know legs behind him, right? So yeah, how is he controlling those things or so on? And he can't even control it; he shoots stuff out, right? He can't even control it. He can like, he can like make the body, he can make it like explode out of stuff, right? It, it, it is really really weird, yeah. Like did he, did he just like awaken his fruit here? Like yeah, it's like what what's happening? But now it just what? Now it exploded. Was it Deku? That's that's how it. Yeah, it was, yeah, it exploded. I was like, what? I guess Deku did it. What? No, yeah, Deku's no either. Did she do it? The day is travel through the air at high speed using wind pressure, like All Might's new hemp side. Yeah, because that was weird. Like he smashed. Was it Deku doing a hard attack? So he smashed the whole thing, the spider thing. Yeah. So did Deku's legs? I, I guess so. Yeah, Deku doesn't know himself. I'm not really really big I guess Deku accidentally kicked so hard that the air pressure. Uh, yeah, he exploded the whole uh, rock thingy, spider rock thingy, and himself also then flying up, which also probably makes his legs being broken, yeah. Yeah, pretty a gigantic shockwave. Even by himself, he didn't expect it to happen. 
Can he finally lose now? Like he's been beating everyone so much right there. Yeah, his his stamina, his Shizaki's stamina is amazing. This, this bad guy is never loses. It's like, oh, I'm gonna fight some more. Did Eri do it? No, she probably she probably missed how he how he how she removed the power from him, right? Okay. Sorry, Narta is alive again. Um, yeah, and, and now he's touching. Oh yeah, he's moving over to the guy with inhale ability. Jesus Christ! Like, can they just never defeat this guy? It's like, they, like, why are they stopping him? Like, there's a noob hero, Ryoko. Come on, babe. You're supposed to be like a super, super experienced hero. Are right you seeing that guy moving over there? Are you gonna stop that guy from touching his ally? Because either he's gonna heal his ally, which he, or he can heal people. That also be bad for you. Or it's gonna absorb my game, which you don't know about. But you can just basically heal it at least, right? So, why aren't they? Yeah, why are they interrupting him? Okay, I'm guessing this now. I use 100%, nothing is broken. Either she healed him, right? Or she powered him up, right? Because they can use a, they're spending drugs on her, right? So she, I, I could see her also. I, I mean, I she used to revert his, in, in, his injuries, makes sense. But she could also, of course, like use the power, or sorry, power up, like power boost decker, right? Which would give him 100% power without maybe hurting himself. Like that makes sense. So yeah, I think either way, but yeah, it must be airy, right? That is your power, yeah. She did something for she, uh, yeah, she's powering him up, right? Yeah, she's really cute and desperate. <laughs> she does that, then a little horn is a little horn there, yeah, yeah. And again, no, no, he appears again. It's like he, he's, he's absurd. It's pow his powers, his powers are absurd. Okay, so now it fuse with inhale guy, but it's inside of his mouth, instead of like building on top of his body, and he has no legs anymore, right? And it's just like, what? Like what? <laughs> it's just so in his powers are so inconsistent, really. He's like, oh, I can do what I want. <laughs> it's like, come on. Yeah, but she can rewind humans. That is her power. That's how she did the history, how she did the powers like that. It's really it really makes no sense to be honest. It, it, it sounds stupid. Like so because they can they can make a drug so they shoot her her power in someone and that's revines right their DNA of like the X factor. It revines their power. That makes no sense. And her power should also revine them. Is that like, you can make you a monkey, yeah, but she's she, she's reviving their like their uh, you know growth right. She's she's reviving their Mutation, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't this year rewind them further then, or you know, rewind them, like, yeah, or like rewind them being alive? If it's very specific, that it's like, rewinding your DNA, not rewinding your whatever injuries or your your age or something. Oh, it rewinds, it's time lapsing your DNA or something. It, it just seems really weird. Um, Yeah, such a kind, gentle quirk. Oh, it's so nice, thank you. Oh, this is this is this is getting goosebumps. Yeah, this is a great scene here. Yeah, it's like she clasped up on Becky's back. There's like, no, oh, it's a gentle girl. She's crying there. <laughs> Next, like, I can fight for real now. Yeah, <laughs> she's gonna heal me. She's gonna heal me every second. Oh, it's gonna be awesome. I can be all might finally. This is how they turn into All Might. 100%! Oh. <laughs> that was great though, that was great. She's like, oh, she's gonna rewind my injuries. No problem. But, yeah, her power is, okay, her power is like time lapse thing, right? Um, I've seen all the powers as well, all the and comics and so on. But she's very specific then. 
that's how they can remind people's power. It's just so specific. That, that, I think that actually is not a very good... Does it feel like a very good combination there, in my opinion? Because it's like... Yeah, it, it, it makes more sense how she would kill people. Because that would be like, she reminds your 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 age, right? She, because she, if reminding your injury is like reverting back to... You know, reminding Deku's legs is like reverting the time that they took place in, right? So she would, you know, make them like an hour younger, right? Yeah. So if you touch her father for too long, when you get hugged by kids or something, she accidentally, you know, killed her father by yeah, reverting his uh, existence, right? Uh, by, you know, X number of years. That makes sense. Uh, doesn't make sense to how the rat exploded. So that obviously, either that was his power, and he was superior to her, or that was his other fault. Yeah, last week, that, that, that was very unclear. Like, did she... Explode a raft, or yeah, I didn't like that. Um, but I'm guessing that this is a, I, if it's his power, I guess then, or if it's weird, maybe it's a slash. I don't know, it's just a weird page there. Um, so I'm gonna ignore that. But it is weird though that she's like, oh, we can make a depower curve from her because she can, yeah, she can revert like your DNA, then, right? She will revert specifically your mutation, not revert your age because. Like Sun it or so on, they didn't get younger, right? Or um, Red Riot, yeah. They don't get younger. Like, they don't get, like, they don't lose their age, right? And so on. Just purely reverting their. Um, which seems really weird. Yeah, that seems really weird. Really specific out from her, like, time power. So that that is really weird. The boosting, I guess, it's like I said last week, that she has to be able to then give people a future, right? She can also like speed them up, right? So she's like, okay, this is you, and this is you, quickest perfected, which also makes a little less sense because that also made more sense if she was powering the quirks more than you. What would that be? If she adds more mutation to you, or something? Yeah, like it's it is kind of, yeah, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, kind of funky. I don't really like it that much, to be honest. It feels it's just kind of clunky how. It went from um, it went from um, what's this called in oh my god in Marvel uh, it's even in is it Caliban uh, both Caliban and Alex here I guess but uh, but also uh, uh, yeah I mean Cal Caliban has something much power what, 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 what's um, oh god what's the kill <sighs> X Men Three Jesus Christ I mean her power, I mean, gender is definitely that kid, right? Oh, yeah, how is it called again? Um, I am completely losing my uh, my X-Men. Uh, oh, Jesus um, I am doing a blank, yeah, a complete blank. A completely blanking here. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is it called now again? Jim is calling them movie bot. Yeah, Leech. Leech, it's called, yeah, Leech. It's like Leech, right? Um, in X-Men. We can also drain, yeah, power negation, like, yeah, like the Murloc. Um, so, I mean, it's kind of like that. If he's kind of that, right, you kind of get the powers, like, oh, he, she can revert power and so on. That's kind of that's kind of how she was presented in the beginning, right? Uh, like, a lot. And then it's like where she has the Elixir from X-Men, which can either, like, revert or boost your healing power and also mutation a little bit when he transforms into the evil Elixir thing. Yeah, so that, that she kind of developed into a better version of Leech instead of Alex Leech, she, she can like either you know improve mutation or decrease mutation, and that's that's fine. Like that makes sense in a way. Like that's a quirk, right? A mutation quirk. But now it's more like no, she has time powers, <laughs> which is even better, right? And so kind of, but then it, but, it, but it feels so kind of clunky because like yeah, because they said they, they confirmed it. She, has, she has time power to reduce your mutation, so she's like. Time warping on her, but he at least has he, he at least has created a drug from her time power to specifically revert mutations. That's kind of like what or boost mutations, right? Um, and it also kind of irritated that she didn't try to heal together. I think that, that, that was a huge mistake, actually. Picture at the back, they watch at the back. But it's actually a huge mistake, story wise. I mean, I guess it's like early determination, blah blah, and so on, but it feels kind of weird to me. That she would not try to heal Miu together earlier. She probably will heal him if she has ended for sure, right? She probably helps help, help him, right? And Knight as well, probably, and save them all, right? So yeah, she can 
you know, heal his body by reverting time wave. No problem, she control it. But if it's really weird, the she wouldn't desperately be like, don't die, and, like, and try to like heal his injury or add his powers back, right, by reverting his body to his former state before he fought Shizaki. And she didn't do it. She's like, no, don't die. I'm gonna run over here. Like, that, that, that to me is, is bad. I don't think that makes any sense, honestly. I think that, I guess, I, I guess that she was afraid of killing him and so on. I get that. But I feel like she was so desperate to go back to Shaki to save Deku and Night Eye. Uh, so she's basically, she's like desperation 100% right. So that means that she would, I think it is so, she should be less afraid of using her powers because, you know, she's so desperate. And then see her using power in this chapter anyway to save Deku. So it's like, she wasn't actually that. <laughs> yeah, so, so then, like, then again, like five minutes later, she he, 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 she heals Deku right there. So why didn't she heal Togata? I think that that is a little... I mean, I get in the whole scene, uh, uh, maybe it's a nitpicking, but I think it would be better if she... I, th I think it's a huge miss there, to be honest. I think, I think it should be one page there. Use one page to make it so much better, I hope the anime makes it better. Because it would be one page there, where she is with Togata, right? And he's really injured, and she's like, I have to heal him. I have to heal him! And she's like, no, I can't do it, he will die. And then she goes back to, um, uh, to her father slash brother, right? That would be... Uh, I think much more impactful and make much more sense that she would have a scene here where she's like, okay, I have to go over there, yeah, I, I can't do it yet. That, and then, of course, when she's on the pile with, with uh, Jaki, Deku yelled at her, she's like, I have to do it, yeah, and then then she breaks, right? That would be maximum uh, like courage, yeah, because he's also trying to save her, and she would be, you know, screw it, I just have to gamble my powers, right? I have to, have to do it. I think, I think that's a lack there, because. I think that would also empower her more, actually, if we explain it better, and it would make her character be more realistic, because she would be like, you know, more and more like, I have to use power, I have to use power, I have to use power, and not using a Tsugata, and I was like, I can't save him, I have to ask him to save him, and then of course she said, no, I have to do it, yeah, I think that would actually make it a little more impactful, so, I think it's a big miss, uh, in my opinion, that, that, that she had to really miss that, uh, makes her character a little funky in a sense, right, yeah. Because you like uh, it's just feel realistic. Like if you have this healing power, I'm not saying that oh, of course you can heal him because you know she 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 might kill him. Right? So I understand that, but then it should be a scene where she is struggling with like should I heal him? I might kill him. I have to go and ask for help. But yeah, that thing should be there. Like it's just a few panels, like one page could have added a lot more thing to that scene. I think that's a I think it is a big issue, to be honest. But anyway, this chapter was pretty short, right? This chapter was pretty short, yeah. I felt it was like one of the 16 pages. Um, Shizaki, uh, I don't like that he, his power is so damn weird. Like, suddenly, that the spider thing didn't make any sense because earlier he had, to, he had to touch the ground, right, to control it. He's like rebuilding stuff. He's like, he's jumping off the ground mid-air, controls stuff behind him. And also, before, it was more like he could shoot, like, uh, Vector Strike. Before he shot, like, you know, this thing, right? He shot like that, uh, straight up, straight down, and so on, right there. Like, angles, because he couldn't really, like, make this thing, because he's, he's just, like, changing ground. So what it does is that he takes metal, right, or whatever, so it's metal, like, my, my and he takes this thing, right, and he, like, converts this round metal to, like, a, to like a needle, right, and makes it go up, right? That's kind of how he works, right? He, he kind of reshapes the body, right? And so on. So he was more like, you know, ang more vector because of that. He couldn't really angle it um, very uh, smoothed out, yeah. But suddenly here, it's like, <laughs> yeah, like spider legs. And it's like, what? Yeah, like it's more like legs, right? Like it, yeah, they can always more move. And that makes, it's like, okay, fine. He is perfectly controlled. It's like, in angle, sort of just being a straight line. Whatever. But... It's not even touching, he's jumping, and then behind him is like, Whoa. and that's like, how is he doing that? Because early he had to touch the stuff to like send it out of it, yeah. Early he had to like touch the, 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 the wall, right, and then he could back, needle out of the wall. But now he's like jumping after being on the wall and being like, yeah, and doing the classic, like, you know, I summon my tendrils attacking from around you. But that's not his power. His power doesn't do that. Power makes him send out stuff when he's touching it, yeah. So he had to like touch it like that, right? And then jump off, and and when touching that thing, he would ask it to be like, okay, go like an angle like that. Yeah. Then he would command the wall to shoot out the fingers like that, and then jumping 
Forge right and them doing it anyway. So it, it, it really makes no sense. Like it's, it's extremely illogical. Basically, he would have to touch the stuff behind him, right? Ask it to do this, yeah, the, the, the gra grapple thing, and then jump out and still do because it's like an anime. I mean, I, I mean it's cooler, right? But he would still do like, yeah, like, you know, like his hands like doing that and like the animation of control, grab, yeah, like doing the whole thing. But it makes no sense because he can't do that, right? Because, I mean, if he stands on the ground and does the thing, like, they say he's like, you know, like PK1, he can throw rocks. He's like, standing on the ground doing like, yeah, rock hand. Then the big rock hand appears and grabs you. Makes sense because he's controlling it. But this thing is like, he's in the mid-air when he can't control the rock anymore. And he's still doing that thing um, because, you know, that's how his power works. But in actu actuality, if you have to stand on the ground and do that thing and then jump, right? That's how his power actually does work. At least until the chapter. So it's like he jumped off the ground. He already told the ground to do that thing. That they actually fine. But why is he still doing that thing? Yeah, because like yeah, like it used, used to make it look cooler, right? It actually makes no sense at all. It's completely illogical uh, how the power works. And then suddenly he grabs inhale guy, and he's like turning into his body, his mouth, and then also fuses his body with like the ground or something. Like, like come on, like. How can his power, his power is so diverse? <laughs> his power, he's like keeps leveling up and also he has the stamina of like a god. He's like, he's been defeated like four times, right? He's been punched around so much. He's a really standard big bad guy. He, he doesn't quit, right? He's, he's always gets kind of ridiculous how, how you know, his versatile is and how he never surrenders. <laughs> I was like, oh, you hurt my body? Oh, I can still fight. Um, yeah, like it is, come on. He's so illogical. It's this. Uh, and it's, it's, it's his body, like a freaking monster in his body. And also, I really dislike the scene generally because Ryoko is like, "Oh, I have to save you, Night Eye," and so on. But still, it's like, it's just super experienced Uruka and so on. And why are they all watching him just fuse with the inhale guy? Because I mean, we know he can heal, right? Like we know that we know he can both heal. We know he can uh, mutate. We know he can like, you know, fuse. We know he can do a lot of stuff, right? And she at least should be aware that he can do something like that, like heal or something. So I wouldn't stand being like, oh, bad guy going to the other bad guy took us like an hour to beat. I'm just gonna let. But okay, bad guy, what's your plan? I, I would go there and be like, don't touch him because he's probably gonna heal him or something. Who knows? Because so he healed Chrono earlier, right? That pushed him like in one second. So he can revert stuff as well, right? So he can revert like the. <laughs> yeah, the inhale gas injuries. It also could be a plan, like, you know. So it's like. Why is she standing there for? And then she's of course like, no, I have to protect Night Eye and I won't like, I have to have, have save Night Eye. That makes sense. But like, just at that moment there, before he fused with him, could she like interrupt the try at least? I mean, I'm saying that she would succeed, but it's like, could she try? And then he would be beat her up as well, even though she's like an injured uh, dragon lady and he's like super injured. <laughs> I was like, nah, probably. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I, I, can't, I, I like the whole team tech board. It was really awesome. Her on his back there, like his cries, like hundred percent. That was really awesome. So the whole Deku and Eri teaming up is really, really good. But up to that point, I'm just like, how is this power working like this? How is this power so inconsistent? Is it? Mm, my, Mr. Set and her part also such a muddy loophole, right? Um, I don't know. It's frustrating me a lot actually. Her power is like what? So like, <laughs> completely random here. Was a truck passing by? It's a white truck, uh, like a moving truck. But it had like this huge, like brown, like um, how would I explain it? It looked like, uh, um, yeah, like it was you know so much water on it that it had broken into it. So it was like a, a shape, yeah, like the area aeration of water had like pushed its uh, top into or the color and like deshaped its, its roof. It's really weird. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, see you next week. Have a great day. But yeah, thanks for playing. I was like, what? <laughs> Basically, Chisaki was there and like interrupted, yeah, like smoothed out that uh, the roof there of the, of the truck.